Hello everyone, I'd like to take a few minutes today and look at some techniques for doing ad hoc measurement in really three specific applications. First off, 3D markup, 3D navigate, and here in 3D compose. All the, the techniques I'm going to show are common across all these uh, particular apps. So let's dive right in with 3D compose. When we do a measurement, we have the option of filtering. Let's filter first on products. If we filter on product and just select anywhere in a product, the system reports either volume or area, and we can swap between those once we've established that. As an alternative, we can filter up the branch and pick multiple uh, products as well if we want to do that, and the, and the volume reports accordingly. We can also pick two independent products within a structure in this assembly and the system will report the distance between the two structures. Here we have a, a distance and now we've got a different choice of the things we can report, the minimum or the maximum distance between the two structures and it's reported accordingly here and of course this is three-dimensional so we can see it's it's found the two farthest points in the structure. We can now erase this and let's move on and look at another option here. So let's go to the more simpler idea of just simple points. So if we select a point anywhere on the model with point active, the system will project the point somewhere, on, or it will project a normal tour view onto the surface. We can repeat this using the repeat option and then just start picking points and the system will collectively establish all the points. The green check mark completes the command. Now I want to get rid of all these so we can right click and say remove all of the ad hoc dimensions and they're all removed. Let's look at another choice here. If we pick two points and the system reports it. The most common is the simply check mark and now we've completed the command. But I find most of the times I want to get multiple dimensions on the screen to quickly get information. So we can pick two points and we can choose for example a stack. It'll stack from the original point and we can multi-select or multiple pick points in, in the system and they'll all be reported back to that point. The same is true with what we call a chain option. The chain will chain the points from point to point a little slightly different response, but quickly gives you some dimensions you can, you know, get information in front of you. And lastly, another option we have here with this is what we call a multi, a multi point, a multi select point, which basically just creates multiple independent dimensions between each two points. But well, once again, you don't have to use as many command picks. You can quickly get the information and it reports this anywhere in the, uh, wherever you needed to report it. And of course, once again, in this case, I didn't commit the command, complete the command, I simply escaped it. Now let's go back here and report and, and get some more points again. You've noticed I've been escaping or getting rid of the commands in different ways. But what if I have a number of commands I want to just delete a few? I can control pick two of the dimensions here and just get rid of two of these dimensions that I've created, but retain the other ad hoc dimensions. So you do have that kind of flexibility when you're working. Let's move on to primitives. Uh, actually, let me get rid of this, uh, <clears throat> the other ones. I'll use that remove all I showed you before. We'll get rid of all the dimensions we've already got. Now let's look at arcs, arcs, circles, and so forth. And of course, that's the only thing we can pick. Arcs are fairly simple in the system. You pick two arcs and you have the same options for chain, stack, and so forth. But once again, it really, uh, it, uh, it works very much like you saw with points, but now we're only limited and filtered on these arcs that we can, you know, we can access. Interesting thing, we've been looking at these simple dimensions, but we can also go into the properties of any dimension and expand to a number of other applications, of another other of parameters on the dimension and report them on the screen for any dimension we've called up. Let's move on to conical, which is basically all primitives, primarily surfaces. By default, if I collect a surface, it reports the area, but since it's a cylinder, the system can report the radius, the diameter, and the linear length of it so you get you know that kind of information so i can pick multiples out here once again just as before and repeat this around the model and quickly get that information on the screen another thing we can do is with uh with primitives is for example here a sphere and a line the system will look at that as a projected distance and give us and report that distance but once again we're giving multiple option based specifically on the kind of primitives we've chosen here we have minimums and local minimum distances, locals being primitive distances from the, the various makeup of that particular primitive, like its endpoints, its vertices, etc. And as before, we can repeat this and apply this in multiple points and just use this as a datum reference, the center of the sphere, for example, and quickly get that information up on the screen. Okay. 
And uh, so we can see this in three dimensions, of course, and move it around. But well, let's remove these and let's look at one other thing here is let's look at these two these two spheres now at this point i've been make, basically working in one product but i can pick across multiple products in an assembly and report the distances and once again spheres doesn't care where the primitives are and i get the same kind of things i can report um, the minimum maximum as well as the local min max for the primitive components of these of these two entities and get that information well, I hope this information was useful to you. And as, as we've always said, please go to the Inova user community. If you have any questions about what you're seeing here today, and please post them and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you.